Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Done the cheap building action, baby. Well, gotta show you guys something. Uh, remember a long time ago I said I was gonna show you guys the good along with the bad and kind of been on a roll lately with them stars going bad and then Dad's Bob O'Neering went bad and then I tried to design these gear doors and I want to show you guys something. Look how good them work. <laughs> By golly. That couldn't have been no better if it was designed on a dang computer. <laughs> That's all you need. A piece of paper. A straight stick and a pencil. Look at that. That is just perfect. I can't believe it. Just perfect. I think it was designed by Robart. <laughs> Bam! See, guys, we can do this stuff. I showed you how to do it. It's real simple. Now I'm going to show you how to do these hinges. Okay, we're going to get in detail on how to put these things in. Alright, I get a lot of different questions. And you know, I've had my issues with where to put them to. You know, and this is what works best for me. Alright. <laughs> First thing we got to do is get in here and rough up your measures a little bit. I got everything pre-fit. And, uh, you know, a lot of times, this was a lot of my problem a long time ago. I tried to make them gear doors perfect. You know, gapless. And, uh, man, you just, you just got, you got to have a little bit of room all the way around. Even, you know, they'll hook on your back lip. If you don't have a little bit of gap in the back. You know, and it's just, uh, for a while. You just leave a little bit of a gap in them. Put a little bit of a gap in them if you it ain't there. Now I'm just gonna rough up this glass. And make sure we got a good glue joint. Alright. that stuff that'll leave a residue even lacquer thinner will will leave a residue behind you know alcohol usually don't but still you got to be careful with that stuff all right all right now sure all these back parts are sanded. See, and this is just simple hinge, man. A guy can just bend a piece of aluminum, uh, make a piece of carbon, lay it up like I made that channel, cut it out of that, and have a total carbon hinge. Uh, you know, there's just, you can glue a little angle stock on there and get a bigger footprint to glue with. It's just, you know, just because you ain't got them in your hand don't mean you can't make them. It's just real simple. You know, as long as your hinge line's straight, you can uh, hinge anything. I didn't see how this was going to work. I thought about it and thought about it. You know, and, uh, Talked to Paul and he said the same thing. Yeah, if you keep the hinge line, line straight, shouldn't matter how long your arm is. And that's true. 
I just knew that was going to bind up something fierce. I just knew it. You know, there's really no way to test it without gluing it in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just my epoxy, a little bit of cotton flop. Alright. I'm going to make sure these... Now, I don't oil these hinges because of the fact... Uh, man, you're just too close to the glue surface. And... Uh, that might be kind of dangerous, so I'm just real careful when I do this glue and I'll show you. Even though this is five minute epoxy, we don't need to get in no hurry. Okay, plenty of time. Okay, I just put a little bead on this outside edge. Okay. Bam. It's like so. I'm going to let that sit. I got some <laughs> black hinges, I got white hinges, I was scrounging for hinges. I can't believe I ordered everything I needed for this jet. I mean, I got everything except hinges. All right, let's go put these two in. Now, see I got my little trough made down there I got a slice cut all the way to the fuselage okay cut through that lip yeah the, then you fold it L-shaped where that's vertical and that's horizontal okay without dragging it across anywhere Getting all your glue off of there. Okay, just did. Little shaped. Okay, push that back edge, this back edge, push that all the way up against your fuselage, okay, bam, let's set. Basically, we're going to do the same thing with it. Let's put you guys back here. Basically, we're going to do the same thing with it. I'm going to bend it into my L shape. Even though it goes way up in the fuselage. So long as we got that hinge line straight, we are good to go. One at a time. See my hinge line? Two minutes straight. There's the good door. Or the door that's hinged. They're both going to be good ones. But we'll see you back.